Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Lockheed Martin claims to have made a breakthrough that will change the world. Yes, the aerospace and defense conglomerate based in Bethesda, Maryland, is claiming to have made a major breakthrough in nuclear fusion, which could lead to the development of reactors small enough to fit in the back of a truck within a decade. In the simplest terms, nuclear fission breaks a single atom in two, whereas nuclear fusion Fusion combines two atoms into one. Fusion, the holy grail of nuclear power, creates four times as much energy as fission. However, many scientists and science communicators are skeptical of the claim, saying Lockheed's breakthrough won't be cost effective. We'll wait and see on this one. All right, cord cutters have received some of the most welcome news they've heard since House of Cards premiered on Netflix. HBO will in 2015 unveil a streaming, also known as Over the Top or OTT option, that can be purchased without a cable subscription. Bottom line, no cable provider necessary to gain access to HBO. Whoa! There are 100 million people in North America without HBO. Even if only a fraction of them sign up for HBO OTT, there's a potential $1 billion opportunity there. Some guy has been diagnosed with the first official case of Google Glass addiction. Apparently it was so bad he would go through three or four pairs a day, and then twice as many on the weekend. Scientists report that plants gobble up far more carbon than previously thought, and yet somehow still maintain their girlish figure. Well, well, Afro Man has remixed his 2001 hit, Because I Got High, in support of legalizing marijuana. Apparently, he was going to remix it earlier, but he forgot because, well, you know. An archaeologist in Bulgaria has unearthed a 13th century grave of a vampire. He knows that it was someone suspected of being a vampire because there's a stake driven right through its heart. Sure, the guy could have been a vampire. But then again, it could have been that his ex-wife just had one tough divorce lawyer. A contractor in Florida built a 5,000-square-foot home on the wrong lot. Well, that could happen to anyone. Of course, it usually happens only to morons. Toyota is recalling over one and a half million vehicles. One day, when self-driving vehicles get recalled, we'll simply wake up one morning to find out that our cars have left us a note in the driveway. Japanese scientists have invented a new robot that can speak 1,000 phrases. Whatever. Call me when they invent a robot that can finally defeat Godzilla. Walmart has announced that it's scaling back plans for new large super centers. That's because America has officially run out of parking space. And Bono has apologized to Apple users for U2's album showing up automatically in iTunes. And while he was at it, he also apologized to PC users for Windows 8. Thanks, everyone. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report every weekday. Make sure to check out Being Frank with Frank D'Angelo on NSS live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern.